I even part of this group? No, I'm trying to like squish myself in or anything. No, 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 no. No, we always made a joke that you're the honorary member who just likes to tell us how shit we are in the corner. Not all <laughs> the time. No, you're you know, you're the different. outside opinion. You know that what we I mean? Need. I'm the outside of therapist. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. See, it's like me getting used to like I don't know, I'm still getting used to it, but it's like I both it's seeing if both sides are comfortable with it, you know what I mean? Like, because if you hung out with the other group, they'd be like, why is there a 14-year-old in the group? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't want you guys... I know you'd never feel that way, but I wanted to clarify. And then I didn't want you to be too comfortable and kind of just... I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. I have the mind of an 18-year-old. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the podcast. So today you have myself Jada and we have the co-host Dakota. And we have I'm... sorry. <laughs> and we have a special guest with us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh uh hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You are, so <laughs> You would have seen her on our D D show, which is NPC, so she plays Omen, the tank of the group. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe the sane one in the group, to be honest. Yeah, mm. let's be real. Mm, yeah. So, we're just going to basically go through a couple of questions. So, we're going to do. St- we're finally going to start the Deep Conversation Starter, which is Ooh. this series that I've been saving from a TikToker. So, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. So, it'll be on screen for you guys, but it's by For Your Eyes underscore. So, these are just a couple of questions that some of them are just kind of fun and playful, and some of them kind of. You know, a bit more deep. It depends on how you answer them, I guess. Mm. So the first one is, which superhero slash villain resonates with you and why? Mm. So this can go for all of us. All these questions can be. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I think, I know this sounds really cliche, but um, Scarecrow from the DC universe. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because... This sounds really man- uh, manipulative, but I like how he has his way with words. It's just really cool, in my opinion, and he's he's just genuinely my favorite villain. Yeah, he's just yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just the way with words can resonate with you. It's pretty yeah. cool, though. Yeah. Do you have any like superheroes or anyone that you that kind of resonate with you, or not really, just mainly in villains? And- I'm gonna be that edgy, but yeah, it's it's <laughs> <laughs> just the edgy one in the group. I'm taking my role now. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of you, what are yours? I don't really. Know. Mm. There are so many like. Um. I know there's ones that I really like, but I don't know if they like resonate with me very well. Like it sounds a bit cliche, but I will say like Spider Man. Mm-hmm. But it's also because like. Um, he sets aside, you know, responsibilities, like, you know, his normal life and his responsibilities, like, he prioritizes, but yeah. sometimes he, like, messes them up. So I kind of resonate with that in a way, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and you simp for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Tom Holland, whoa! Hey! <laughs> nah, like, I don't know, I, I don't know, his personality is, like, I know, I reflect on that a lot, I guess. So, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think of a villain, but I don't really know. Mm. Yeah, because I guess mm. I'm trying to think of what else, like other superheroes that aren't part of like Marvel or DC. Yeah. Because I guess you could say like comics, or you could say TV shows of any type of anime. It doesn't have to be like a uh, like Marvel okay. v DC, you know, mm. which is best type of situation, because that's a whole story. <laughs> Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I don't really know about villains, um, just because, I don't know, they haven't really, like, I haven't found one that really, like, speaks to me, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, in a way where, like, kind of like your manipulative kind of way. <laughs> Alright, do then don't need to call me out. <laughs> no, no, but it's more of, like, a, um, you know, they do bad things, but that's what they've been taught, I guess. Um, which I haven't really seen one that resonates with me that much. So yeah, it'd probably just be Spider-Man at the moment. So yeah, I mean, for me, when it comes to superheroes, it's kind of a mixture with. It's, it's kind of weird. It's almost 
like Wanda. I kind of resonate with her in some aspects just because of the whole because I watched WandaVision not long ago but the way she kind of takes on the kind of trauma that she kind of went through mm. and instead of kind of lashing out onto everyone in the world she just kind of went well I need to do this yes she does kind of you know make a fake town and do all yeah. these things <laughs> mm. obviously I can't do that but mm. she does it in a way because it's all about like you know, I'm losing family. I don't know what to do. Mm. And for her, that's why she kind of spins out of control. It's not because, like, oh, no, like, you know, I got hit. Well, I'm pissed off. It's like, you know, yeah, I've lost family. How do I deal with that? And kind of going through your own process. Mm. I quite resonate with that. And another part that I resonate with, which I don't like. Mm. I'm going to call him an anti-hero because I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this is, like, mild spoil warnings. Not really. But, um... Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there's like the quote unquote new Captain America. Yeah. Which is um, in there played by John Walker. I resonated with a part of him because there's a scene, which is kind of like the spoiler part, but there's a scene where he's in front of like the US like governor and all these types of people. And basically they tell him like, you, no, you can't do this anymore. It's like you need to like, we're stripping you of all of these rights and mm. being military and all that stuff. And that really resonated with me because it was the whole, like the line that sticks with me the most. He says, "You know, you built me like this, yet you're just getting rid of me so quickly." Yeah, and I think it resonates the most because you know, similar stuff has happened, not obviously in that grand scale, mm. but the whole factor of you know people can kind of build you up and try and make you a certain role, and then if they've had enough of you, they can kind of discard you yeah. like a toy. Mm. And I think that really resonates because just the way his emotions played out I'm like okay yeah. I feel this mm. I went through that and I'm like oh oh that's weird yeah I don't want to like him yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you like him yeah so it was like all those things but it's kind of weird I don't know villain wise yeah but villains I, I find difficult to mm. kind of resonate with yeah because I know like the things they do is always for a purpose or something has happened to them to drive them to that extent um but yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, you know, they're all, well, to me, they're slightly off um, with my, like, persona or how I reflect with them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. But, like, even to me, like, if we were just to say, like, again, solely kind of fo focusing on, like, DC and Marvel, how many, like, true villains are there versus, like, anti-heroes or... You know what I mean? Mm, like, heroes true. who just happen to kind of go yeah. a bit insane. But... Uh, to me, I can't think of a true, like, yeah, that is 100% like a villain. Yeah. Because even you could argue with, like, Thanos as an example. He was set as the villain. Yeah. But he doesn't, you know? Yeah. It, I, he's I a know. weird in between. Because, yeah. like, yes, he does a lot of bad stuff. But at the end of the day, he, he just wanted to retire at one point. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, even Loki, for example, like, he's not all evil. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he, yeah. he does care at the end of the day. And, like, you know, he was heartbroken that, you know, more well, spoilers, but I'm sure everyone's <laughs> yeah. seen Thor and stuff, but, you know, people die in his life and he is really, like, you know, upset by that. So, you know, there's still good in him. So. Yeah, because if there was no good in him, he wouldn't care that people die or, mm. you know, because he'd just say, like, oh, you know, it's another pawn in my play or, like, you know, yeah. things like that. But it's just weird to kind of think, like, okay, what's a true villain? Mm, I true. don't think I could actually pick yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Next question is, what's something you wish you never told someone? Jumping mm. off the deep end. <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't really know. Yeah, it could be something. You know, obviously, you don't have to go mm. in detail because obviously yeah. you're telling <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it could be something very like simple. It could be like, oh, I'm primary school. I wish I didn't tell this person this. Or, like, you know what I mean? It oh, could be something wow. very childish. I oh. mean, I think for mine, it was that I wish that I didn't tell well, my ex best friend. Like, she, she just kind of ditched me all of a sudden, and now we're not friends. Mm -hmm. I, I hate her now. Um, I wish I didn't tell her about what happened in my past like a while ago yeah because i realized that i just wasted like information on someone who wouldn't care in the end 
So I think that's just the main one, I guess. Kind of wishing you had hindsight in a way. Yeah. Mm. Well, mine's a... I don't know. Like, I was young, and I said stupid stuff, <laughs> as all kids do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> back in primary school, um, I used to say that my mom died, and I was raised by a fairy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. And... You know, obviously, um, I reflected on that um, years <laughs> later, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> like, I used to... Wasn't just... it about wolves? No, no, no. It was, like, fairies. That was later in the life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I did in my childhood that, you know, I'm embarrassed of now, but that was just, you know, how I was and how things went, I guess. But, yeah, like, I used to tell teachers, I used to tell friends, and I'm like... Wow, that's uh, that's pretty rough. Like, <laughs> that's rough, buddy. Mm. Um, but yeah, that, that was probably mine. Yeah. yeah, kind of like similar with the whole like primary school situation, because yeah. I can't think of any like major ones that I want to say kind of nowish. Yeah, yeah. But like, I remember in primary school, I had like the biggest crush on this kid, mm. and I told like my like one friend, and which was fine because she drew like a like a little picture of us, oh my you know, as you do when you're like you know. Yeah. 12, 13, and I hid it in like the drawer. You know how you have those put like, drawers on your desk? Yes, yeah, like the trays. Yeah, so I put mine at the bottom, put all my stuff on top, mm. and um, I think I, I'm definitely that person even now. I think where like if I like you, I tend to not hide it. I'm pretty bad at it. Yeah. I think I'm hiding it really well, but then I'll be like, yeah, you're alright, but then like in reality, I'm like, you're really cute, but in my head, I'm like, they don't know why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a half my class knew. And then like these boys would like they like went through the tray and like grabbed mm. it in front of Jim. Like look oh, at this, no. they Aww. love you. Like you know she loves you and this God and that. And I was like, I I'm gonna just go run off. And then like one of the other friends pulled him aside and just like made him stay in front of me. Went, she likes you. Now she's gonna tell you. Oh wow. And I stood there and I'm like. I just froze. I was <laughs> yeah. like, I, I don't know what to do. Far out. It's That's... like, it's so scary, especially when you're like a kid. You're like, oh yeah, tell this person you like them. You're like, yeah. like it's always like them crushes back in primary school, but you don't want to commit to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> like I'm too young. Like I'm this little ten year old, and it's like I don't want to. I don't even know you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I had the weirdest situations in high school because two times. Uh, someone told me that their friend liked me and it was like it was weird to me because that never happened because in all honesty I don't think I'm the best looking <laughs> but like it was so weird because the first time we were in IT and then he just said I think my friend likes you and I'm like okay whatever <laughs> and then like I had a crush in high school and he was the prettiest boy but um <laughs> What happened was I was in like kitchen class and like this dude came up to me and he was like I think my friend has a crush on you and then I was like I just said cool and kept walking but then I turned around and he was talking to my crush so I think that I missed out Oh no! and I think that my crush had a crush on me and that made me flip because I realized I could have missed my chance oh. and he was so pretty. <laughs> Um, he was that one quiet kid and he had black fluffy hair and it was just... Ah, uh, got you. <laughs> oh. That's really sad though. Could you imagine if that was? I know. Because yeah. oh. I just turned around and I saw the kid talking with him and I was like, oh. <laughs> I like panicked for the rest of the day. I'm like, oh my god, was that... Did I just... I just oh. Did I just ruin this chance? I know. Yeah. Right? Ah. Like, why can't the image be like, hey, my friend... That likes you. Yeah. yeah. Like, I get it. You hate it when you're that person. Mm. But also, at the same time, it saves so much issues. If, it's, if someone ever comes up, you're like, hey, this one likes you. Be like, cool. Yeah. I know who it is now. Yeah. Because, you know, it's weird to be like, hey, my friend likes you. Without saying who the friend Who's is. Who's the friend? Like, congrats. You know, like, 50 kids. Which one is this? <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't know why kids think that's a smart thing to do. It's dumb. It's not. It's no. not. <laughs> like, I remember... Because in primary school, because my high school was boring, because it was an all-girls school, so like nothing happened. Yeah, <laughs> but like <laughs> primary school, uh, my two best friends, Erin and Bianca, like we're still good friends now. But um, we were known as like the secret keepers mm. for all of our year six and seven. Yep. We had a book that literally it was almost like 
would now have been like an Excel spreadsheet of who liked who. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So people would come up to us and be like, hey, can you tell me who this person likes this person? Mm. And be like, ah, that's gonna cost you. So they oh give us like an ice block. That's amazing. Or like, you know, Damn. <laughs> we'd be like, oh, if you're gonna, you know, I'll tell you, but you have to tell me yours because we're missing your name in the file. So we'd fill it out. <gasps> I still have it, but like, mm. it was this big spreadsheet. And if we didn't have like it, we got to the person and be like, hey, yeah. We're like, oh, we need your name for the book. And they'd be like, okay, but you have to guess. Yeah. I remember one kid, I asked him for it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, okay, but you have to guess. He's like, I have three crushes. I'm like, all right. Hmm. So I guess all three of his crushes in five guesses. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, all right, so this person, this person, and then the other person was someone out of our school. So I, it was harder to yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. But I managed to kind of pick a basic white name and yeah. all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair. And stuff like that, but it's so weird, like, looking back on some of the stuff that you do, and you're like, why, why was this a thing that yeah. was logical as a kid at all? And yet so smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, back then you're like, oh, I'm the smartest kid there, and now you're like, what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> it's like, why? Why is this necessary? For sure. Okay, so the next question is, what makes you feel less alone when you're sad? Uh, this may sound a bit basic. <laughs> Well, I have two. One of them's a bit more embarrassing than the other. Okay, so the first one is music, of course. Yeah. The other one is uh, Atami games. They're, they're just so good. Hey, that's good, though. Yeah. For people that don't know Atami games, uh, they are like... Um, what are they? Like, Japanese dating ja- simulators. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so you get to, like... It's mainly, like, directed towards, like, females, and they've got, like, a bunch of dudes that, like, you get to pick one, and then you get to build a story with, and pick how it goes, You make it sound so much sadder than it is. (laughs) (laughs) How would you describe it? Mm. Uh, I just like that. (laughs) You get to talk to pretty boys, that's how I say it. Okay. Yeah. You have to add the pretty part to Crow, come on, man. Yeah. Mm, You're making them sound, you know, just normal. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) apparently. Oh my god. But no, that, that's completely fine. Everyone does different things to make them feel less lonely. So. Mm-hmm. If that's yours, then that's yours. Yeah. Yeah. What's yours, yeah. Dakota? What's yours, Dakota? <laughs> what's yours? Well, to be honest, I don't feel lonely a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> face was like, don't look at me like, no, like, <laughs> face was like, like bullshit. Seriously, like, I like my alone time and I enjoy it, to yeah. be honest. I. To be honest, like, I feel more sad than lonely, you know what I mean? But, um, that sounds really bad. <laughs> no, that's fine. But, um, yeah, like, if I'm upset and stuff like that, it's usually I would do uh, one of my many hobbies. Um, or venting to me. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, you vent to me. Yeah, like, I could vent to, you know, Shy, or I will draw, or I will, you know, do something that distracts me. So, whether it's, like, you know, play the switch, or... I don't know, even go to bed, <laughs> like, yeah. just sleep, um, but yeah, like, that's that's probably me. So you're definitely more of, like, a distracted, like, distracting yourself from the problem yeah, kind of situation. Yeah, because I'm always on the go, and I don't usually have time to think or feel, like, sad, I guess. <laughs> I don't have time to feel emotions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'm always on the go, so usually, you know, say, for example, holidays, I'm a lot more in my head, and that's when I don't... I guess I have more time to be sad so um if I'm doing something like one of my hobbies that distracts me from that so I can avoid it a little bit more so no no that's completely fair yeah I can kind of agree with you like I like my own alone time but I think there's a difference between for me anyway being kind of alone and being lonely Mm. Mm -hmm. because you can have like Again, this is all for me. But, like, you know, I can have lots of alone time and feel completely fine. Yeah. But, like, I can also be surrounded by a ton of people and feel lonely. Yeah. So it's one of those situations where mm. I'll kind of focus more on, like, the sad side. On, like, you know, what do I do to help? Because, obviously, again, everyone is different. Mm. So, yeah, like, music will definitely help me. It helps as well with, like, anxiety and stuff like that. But it depends on, like, how sad I am. It sounds really weird, but yeah. like, depending on the scale, <laughs> yeah. depending on which I pick. But yeah, like I try and vent to my friend who is like my sister, or my brother who's my friend too. I don't, <laughs> I don't have siblings, but I have friends who I call siblings. So mm. you know, I will vent to my brother or sister, whoever is available and or isn't annoying me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the current moment. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll talk to them, or I tend to 
like a, a lot of the times I would just kind of cut off and just be in my own bubble mm. which isn't always the most positive thing to do yeah but sometimes it's needed yeah that is true like sometimes it is needed but I try and even if it's to do something so it's like hey if I'm sad maybe I'll read my book or mm. I'll yeah try and do something small even if it's like hey edit a video or go on a walk yeah like my thing this this is my like embarrassing stupid thing <laughs> when I'm really sad or kind of stuck in my head I like looking at water Mm. So even if it's just staring at a water bottle, like yeah. I'll just death glare at it for like an hour, <laughs> mm. but it makes me feel calm. Or yeah, like, that's why I like lakes and beaches and yeah. pools and stuff because mm. to me that immediate association with all right, I'm calm now. Yeah, I'm calming down. Mm. Fair enough. So that's like my thing, which is weird though because if I'm like you know feeling alone at a party and I'm staring at a water bottle, yeah, it doesn't look the most normal. <laughs> but you know, yeah, fair. You yeah. gotta do what you gotta do at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, I'll try and talk to people here and there, but I don't always like doing that because in my brain I go, well, I'm taking up their time. Or, yeah. you know, I'm kind of a burden on them, I'm interrupting them and all this yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's why I kind of, I'm trying to do that more and more, but you know, it's difficult. Yeah. All you can do is try. <laughs> True. This one is kind of the opposite of sad, but do you remember oh. the last time you were absolutely happy? And what was it? Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Go on, (laughs) Shai. Go on, Dakota. (laughs) I think it's hard to think of, like, a happy, like, what generally made you really happy. Like, something that's, I don't know, like, recently, no. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Recently, no. Oh, Um, that's a mood. Yeah, like, I might as well just say it. But, um, I think the most content i've been in a while was probably just like driving by myself with the music blaring and you know kind of just ignoring everything and yeah everyone in a way that was probably my most happy moment because like i didn't care you know what i mean like i don't uh i don't know i it's hard to feel happy when this sounds bad but when you're around people mm-hmm. Like, you can have so much fun and feel happy at that moment, but I feel like it's really hard to keep that going with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, And that's why, like, you know, I'm probably happiest when I'm, like, in my car, music's blaring, and just, you know, being that, like, typical chick in, like, a music video, just (laughs) not caring about (laughs) anything. So that's probably my most recent, so... Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, you can have happy moments, but truly feeling happy with yourself Mm. is kind of hard yeah yeah i agree to pick a particular moment Mm. well what's yours shy (laughs) oh god um if i had to go to like the pinnacle of happiness for me that sounds bad but when i got doppo like seven months ago (laughs) yeah yeah Mm. oh doppo is my cat by the way He's a cute little cat. Oh, he's the cutest. He is. <laughs> when he doesn't scratch you guys, he's the cutest. Oh, he doesn't do it that much. He anymore. doesn't scratch us, he scratches the furniture. Um, which he shouldn't be doing, but we are. Uh, because I'm the only one who invests in the spray bottle. Everyone yeah. else says it's cruel. <laughs> Mm. Well, it depends. What's in the spray bottle? Just water. Uh, well, just water. Okay. We're not like pouring bleach on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Because I know some people put some weird stuff in spray bottles, so I'm oh. like, yeah. No, it's usually, like, if, you know, it's, like, the third time or something like that, then it's, like, no, you're just not listening. But, like, it's just discipline, fellas. (laughs) He's also, he's hit teenage phase, so he's definitely turned a bit edgy. Ah, so he's doing a you and trying to rebel. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, Like, mother likes them. (laughs) (laughs) What about you, Jada? Um, I don't know. I, I, I can think of, like, one point but I wouldn't say it was like true it was a mixture of true happiness and like relief in a way so that was in like January that sounds bad no Um, no. but I remember because I was kind of by myself but I was also with like I had I was with friends but they were all kind of back because we're at the beach Hmm. so they were on the sand I was in the water and Erin like my sister was standing next to me and we were just throwing rocks in the water oh I thought you meant at each other (laughs) (laughs) no 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 (laughs) but it was like you know Every time we throw a rock, we'd say whatever made us really upset or angry. Mm. So it was kind of letting go of things. Yeah. So would you like scream taxes? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'd scream like 
it could be something something very simple it's like mm. I don't like the way this person said this or like you know whatever like yeah, little yeah. thing because mm. it feels awkward to start with because you're like I'm yelling and there's people around so you do the whole like don't like this <laughs> yeah and then in the end it just turned to us being like I don't didn't like your ex from three years ago <laughs> I didn't like and we just went off but it, you know at the end of it you just felt so like relaxed yeah, yeah. And it, I don't know, to me that was like a mixture of relax and like happiness because like 2020 was a shit year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. us personally, but like the world. So I think it was nice to kind of be able to release mm. a little bit of tension and stress before yeah. starting this year, which was more tension and stress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, definitely. Yeah. It's just weird because like I can't think of a distinct like, ah, yes, I am truly like happy. Yeah. Because, like, my happiness also tends to stem from my friends. Mm. So if they're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. If they're all, like, you know, getting along and socialising and, you know, not killing each other. All right, I'm happy. You know, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. But I found in, like, the more recent years that that doesn't make me, like, fully happy. It just makes me feel good. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's trying to figure mm. that out more. I think happiness is, like, something really difficult to obtain, but it's not at the same time. Like, I think it's... It's a concept that has become really, quote unquote, difficult mm -hmm. to achieve because at the end of the day, no one really knows exactly what true happiness feels like. Yeah. It's almost like, um, you know, perfectionism. Yeah. Which is a concept. It's an unrealistic concept that we've made. Yeah. If you're perfect, you're not human. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's kind of that way with happiness. But I think if you, at that moment, you know, feel... Can, that's why I'd rather use like content than mm -hmm. happy in a way because mm. like feeling content is my happiness yeah. in a way obviously it's different for everyone but if I'm content that means I don't need any I don't need to push any more so yeah like I think that's I don't know that's how I view it so, yeah and yeah. I think as well like I, I know from other people, but there's a big stigma kind of behind contentness. Yeah. A lot of the time people are like, well, if you're content, then that means, you know, you don't want to improve on your life or you don't want to try mm. and make yourself happy or not. I don't think that's the case. No. I think it's more of like, you're okay. Like, yeah. the fact that you can say like, oh, I'm okay at this current moment in time kind of mm. says a lot when you're constantly yeah. either extremely stressed or anxious or yeah. sad or happy. There's a lots of like... I like to say our emotions are like a roller coaster. Yeah. So the content is like, you know, perfectly flat for a little bit before yeah. it drops or it goes yeah. up. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think contentment is permanent, you know, because obviously, like, there's new things that happen every day. There's new wants. There's new things that you see and experience. And it just continues, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point in being content permanently because, again, that's kind of like not human. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah. being content permanently is human, but it's not healthy. Yeah, I suppose. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I just... Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Alright, what do you think is the most beautiful sound in the world? I was going to say such a bad one. <laughs> I mean, say whatever you want, dude. I w <sighs> this is going to make me sound like such a nerd. But um, there's a specific gun sound in oh. Apex Legends. <laughs> Wait, I think I... Uh, okay. The wingman. Oh. <laughs> it sounds so nice. I know it sounds bad that I'm saying one of my favorite oh. noises is a gun sound. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not like a real gun or anything. Yeah. No, no. It's I'm not, not like, shooting down real people. <laughs> okay, it's not like, I love it when my gun goes off and hits the deer perfect. Oh my god. No. Uh, a different one would be cats purring. It's really nice. It's calming. I like it. But, you know, such a difference. <laughs> Go to Kona. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Oh, there's a few sounds that I really like. Um, but I wouldn't... I don't know how extravagant they would be. I Well, for one, this is just me being, I suppose, a photographer. I don't know if you love it too. But, like, every time you change a lens and you hear like that clink the, like, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. where it just like clicks into place oh it's it's such a nice sound because it's just oh, you know it's set there's nothing well it could be something wrong with it but you know it's just in it, place it's in its own place yeah and it's like yes i love that 
Um, and then the other one is probably, so you know like pebbles when they like mesh together and oh, they yeah. like hit each other and stuff? That really like, I don't know. I love the difference between you with pebbles and photography sounds. I'm like, gun noises and <laughs> purring. Guns yeah. and cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I th- yeah, I think those are the two that I really like, so. Yeah. yeah. I think for me, I've always, for me, a perfect sound in a way, I've always liked the ocean. Kind of like the different sounds it creates. Mm. Because I find that I could just kind of sit and listen to it. And it sounds weird, but like I can't listen to it as much on a computer. Yeah. But like at the beach. Yeah. I like it. I don't know if it's more like because the surroundings and things like that. Mm. But just kind of through like, you know how you get like the 24 hours ocean noises. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, yes, it sounds similar, but to me it just doesn't click. Yeah, it, it's not as natural, you know what I mean? It yeah. takes away such... It's not just like the ambience and the sound i feel like it's also like the feeling and like just being there yeah mm, i think it's um it's the same with like say on the computer like lo-fi songs mm-hmm. where they had that old vinyl crackly sound yeah it's completely different to the real thing mm. and when you hear it it's so authentic it just oh it's a complete different feeling um but yeah like i know yeah yeah, like similar to that, another one of mine is like fire crackling. Yes. Mm, yes. Again, mm. another one that's hard to kind of have on like <laughs> on standby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to have that on mm. ready. But I think I enjoy that just because it, again, it does that whole simplicity of the environment you're in. Obviously, I'm not the type of person to be like, ah, oh, yes, house burning down. Mm, love the sound of it. <laughs> Pyromaniac. <laughs> mm. no. You know, but it's more of like, ah, oh, yes, I like. You know, the fire, kind of being in a fire pit, for example, or, you know, yeah. in a fireplace. Yeah. I know it's a safe fire sound, because normally it's, like, small crackles here and there. Mm. It's not, like, the big, like, whoosh sounds and the... Yeah. The, you can always tell yeah. the difference. It sounds weird, but, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I get that. It's like listening to fake rain as well and real rain. Yeah. Like, I love the sound of rain. It's just so calming. Um, but, yeah, like, there's a lot of them sounds that it's really hard to replicate, like, no matter how accurate they're trying to be but yeah like. yeah and then my other one is heartbeat i don't know why i just think that's like mm-hmm. i think because also it's in a lot of songs as well that like mm-hmm. saying like dun, 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 yeah. Dun. yeah even if it's faster or slower it's that repetition t- in a way because similar to like the water and the fire mm. yes there's a rhythm it's systematic it's the same but it can change but it doesn't feel like someone's decide to randomly change it it flows with it yeah Yeah. so Mm. it's that like nice change yeah (laughs) it sounds bizarre but like Mm. it's a nice change yeah i get what you mean it's good yeah Mm. what's one thing that you wish never changed about you or won't change about you you can do either or um i would say personality for me Mm mm-hmm because if all of a sudden I woke up and I'm like, I like pink and Barbie, oh, God. Yeah. I think <laughs> I would die. <laughs> it's, I, yeah, I just mm-hmm. couldn't do that. You would ruin the whole Adam's Family aesthetic you have going yeah. on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's it. That's mm-hmm. my aesthetic. Oh, God. Is it something that we wish didn't change? Or is it well, like... On this it says, what's one thing that you wish never changed about you? Oh, okay, so it can be past tense. But even if you don't want something to change, yeah. you can do that I, as well. I think... Um, it sounds bad, but like confidence. Mm-hmm. Um, so like back in primary school, um, even high school, every now and then, like, you know, I used to volunteer for a bunch of stuff. I used to get up on, like, I did a solo back in primary school of singing in front of an audience. And like, I, I loved doing that stuff and I didn't care about anything. Like I just got up on stage and was confident. Um, I used to like escort like new teachers around the school when like do that. Yeah. Um, but, the stories you got from that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like, but as soon as, say, like, year 11 and upwards happened, I stopped doing it. And, you know, you know, there was so much more pressure and, unfortunately, perfectionism, you know. Um, and I stopped doing certain things and had to look a certain way. And I think the pressure of, like, quote-unquote school and society kind of, like, did that to me. Yeah. So I wish I you know, kept that confidence till now, but I'm still, like, learning to, like, bring that back a lot. But also, becoming a teen definitely brings you into real life and realising, oh yeah, all the things that I did then that I thought were cool weren't cool. (laughs) Then you start doubting yourself. Yeah, yeah. You kind of see yourself in a new light, you're like, hmm, 
Is that a cool thing to do? Mm-hmm. I don't know. And you kind of... You stress about everything you do. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Being a teen is difficult. <laughs> it's stressful. Yeah. <laughs> it really is, though. Mm. I feel like every, like, monumental age group is stressful to some degree. Yeah. Like, because I know every time, like, you know, because you, obviously you're younger than us, shy, but, like, when you say, like, oh, it's stressful, and then I'm like, ah, yes, wait until you're in your 20s. Yeah. And then if I say that, you know, my parents are like, oh, wait until you're in your 50s. And then, yeah. like, my yeah. grandparents are like, mm, wait until you're old. It's like, yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. it's just interesting to hear what the it's always the same like repetitive stance. Mm-hmm. Though, like wait, get out of your teens, mid twenties. Yeah, and then like when you're married, if you obviously want to get married and have kids, or just be in that like mm. older stage in your life where you're just like, mm. what do I do? <laughs> it happens to everyone. Like mm. that's yeah, like reality. You know what I mean? Like when you're older, and um, you know when well, hang on, when you're a teenager. Right, like you say, I can't wait to be an adult because I don't have to deal with this kind of stuff anymore. Yeah. But it doesn't really work like that. Because obviously, like, I don't know, like just certain environments and like dialogue and just stuff in general, like you think aren't going to happen when you're an adult, but it does. Um, which it doesn't is... explain why we need to learn algebra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, it all happens regardless of age. And it's taken me a little bit to be like, oh, it doesn't stop when I'm like 40 or even like 25 or something like that. It's like, I <laughs> see, like, with this, like, stigma of it will get better when you're older hmm. or like worse, the only thing is that it's not that I'm gonna think it's easier as an adult, it's I rather be like seen as an adult than a kid. Mm. Yeah. Because I personally think that my mental age is a lot older than how I actually look. And, like, I want to be treated more as an adult, which I know won't happen until about, like, 17, maybe. Keep it going. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And it's, like, I want to be treated as an adult because sometimes it feels like when you're a teenager, your opinions don't matter because you're just a kid. Yeah. And it does get frustrating when you genuinely want to express something, but then it's dismissed just because you're younger. Yeah, it's apparently not valid because you're 14. Exactly. Yeah, and you know, like, sometimes, like, we look 16 apparently sometimes, and like, you know... Oh, you specifically. Sure, like, well, me personally, I still feel like, you know, my opinion isn't valid. Like, even at 20. Yeah, I You know what I mean? Like, even, I'm not saying all elderly, but some of them still think and have a stigma on 20-year-olds too, thinking that they're just as irresponsible as 14-year-olds. Um... But yeah, it's just a weird stigma that unfortunately happens a lot, so... Mm. Which is weird, because, you know, they've gone through that age. It's not like they start off being 70 yeah. and, you know, <laughs> they just keep going. I know. Yeah. They've gone through that, they probably had the same thing from their yeah. parents, and then, you know, mm. cascades through, but it's weird that it's never changed. Yeah. It's like, mm. ah, yes, you're a teen, you know nothing. You're, mm. you know, 20s, you still know nothing. Yeah. Wait until you hit, you know, your 50s, you will still know nothing. Yeah. You know? It's just like they think that if you're younger than a full adult then you know nothing but it's more of you know less yeah i think that's the thing like you're seen as knowing nothing when it's like no i don't know what it's like to have to retire that doesn't mean i don't know like things that i need to do now Mm. age shouldn't determine your validation you know what i mean like never because i don't know i'm just think this is a bit unrealistic but like you know a 14 year old well it's not unrealistic it's if a 14 year old had this incredible idea to change the world yeah and an 80 year old had a horrible idea you know which one do you think would weigh more people would say that well she's 14 she's irresponsible and had that stigma already whereas this 80 year old has lived through life knows exactly what how everything yeah, goes they should know. yeah they should know where i'm not disregarding elderly and stuff like that it's just you know it, the stigma really goes a long way so mm. well that's what they kind of did to i can't think of the last name but greta what's her name greta thompson i want to say greta thompson something like that she's the one mm. that does uh she was like 14 or 15 and did the whole i can't remember the exact details but talked about like autism and how to essentially like make the world a better pay like like place for it something like mm. that the only reason people didn't like care about what she said because a she was under the age of 16 and b mm. 
because she had a small amount of like autism or Asperger's, I can't remember which one. Um, they were like, well, no, she doesn't know anything then. Yeah. Mm. It's like, that shouldn't that, affect that's horrible. anything. Yeah. Like, if you look at all of the quote unquote smart people we've had in, like, you know, past century or two, mm. like, you know, Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking, all of them, most of them had things like that, but we yeah. still didn't disregard them. Yeah, exactly. It's so bizarre. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> but for me, I think one of the things that I wish never changed about me. Oh yeah, that was. The yeah, <laughs> it's fine. That's why I like I had to recap. Cause I'm like, what was the question again? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I think for me, one of the things that I wish never changed was, I, to a degree, I wish I never changed like how much I kind of let people know about myself. Like I am happy that I'm more comfortable being able to be open and talk to people. Yeah, but. You know, like, when I was younger, I just never really spoke about those types of things. So I went yeah. from, like, zero to a hundred yeah. very quickly. Mm-hmm. And I think I need to learn now kind of the balance between the two. Obviously, there yeah. are things that you know, are okay to talk yeah, about. Yeah. But there are other things where it's like, okay, maybe I don't have to say this or I could kind of yeah. keep a bit more quiet. Mm. And I think it's kind of learning that balance and, you know, what the situation is about and things like that. Mm. Mine's definitely... I'm a lot of, I need to learn balance and things. Yeah. Which takes a while in certain situations. Mm -hmm. And you know, like being quiet for such a long time and then suddenly you have so much to say. But it's like figuring out like, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Like is someone going to tell me off? It's like, no, like you are allowed to say that. But it is also finding the balance is like, oh no, am I oversharing now? Because Mm -hmm. I've never been able to say that. Yeah, because like how we were talking about before about, you know, how kids or younger people aren't allowed to, weren't allowed to have like an opinion like and I've talked about this with my parents but they always said to me you know my opinion's not valid until I'm an adult because that means that I'll know something mm. so you know for 18 years I just never said my opinion yeah because the immediate response is well you know it's you're not- a kid you don't know what you're talking yeah. about so and then even then I still didn't really say much from 18 to you know 18 19 I tried to but yeah. I either got told no or you know, not yeah. necessary and then only kind of this you know, end of last year to this year I've kind of been saying more and more things and I'm like oh okay maybe yeah. dial it back a little yeah. bit <laughs> not that mm. I go like into details but it's more of like okay maybe I don't need to say that's really yeah. not necessary mm. okay learning that balance cool let's learn yeah. to retract a little bit yeah mm. yeah if we if we were all going to die today who would you want to hug last Oh god. What a little cute question. Oh god. <laughs> so we'll excuse like animals and stuff like that, but they're all Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be humans. Um Right. Don't come at me, because it's a little cringe. I would say I don't wanna say names unless you guys already do that, but uh my little sister. Yeah. <sighs> oh. oh wow. <laughs> what? To crazy to be like, Sorry, that was like no a else. proud sister moment just then. I mean, if I had to, I would choose the cat. (laughs) That's why I said not animals, because I know she wouldn't have said the cat. You can hold the cat as you're all dying together. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) I know. That's cute, though. I think that's really sweet. That hit hard. Yeah. (laughs) As an older sister, wow. Proud of sister moment for you. Yeah. I mean, who else would I hug? Not you. (laughs) It's funny, because I was going to be cringier and say mum. Oh. (laughs) I mean, mum knows what she's doing. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair. That's what I mean. Like, you take care of her. <laughs> you now take care of mum. Yeah, um, you got it split perfectly then. Yeah, like, you know, there's not much explanation really no, needed for it. Like, there's not much. Yeah, there's not much explanation. I can have all of you as I would. Mm. But if it's just one, it's probably be mum. Mm. Like, my best mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Who would you hug, Jada? That's <laughs> difficult. That's the thing, though, because it's, you know, who do you want to hug last? Because uh, <laughs> it's a it's a it's too many yeah you know you don't really think about it until you're asked asked uh, yeah you're until right. you're asked uh, yeah it's weird because like I'm just I can't choose between either one of my parents yeah so I'm gonna be like I hug them first get that over and done yeah <laughs> you mm. I guess Lost. in that sense mm. I, this is a bit cliche but if you had to have that moment then. You should have spent your life hugging them, so then when it happens, they've had enough hugs that it doesn't matter. Mm. 
I mean, true. It's in clicks to you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get that, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> ah, the only person I can really think of is, yeah, probably, like, I'm gonna have to say, like, my sister Erin. I'd probably hug her last. Yeah. Because I know, like, I'm being, like, the very dramatic person in my head, because I'm like, ah, oh, yes, when I get to, I get the final say as well. Like, yeah. You know, you <laughs> yeah. those final words. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know why, I just assume I'll be, like, in a hospital bed dying. I just immediately Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I kind of thought of it, too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Because I just assumed you that. Uh, I was thinking of, like, I had an explosive on my back <laughs> yeah, and I was like, the last person before I blew up. But that's the thing, though. <laughs> it is kind of like that, in a way. Because it's like, you know, yeah. as soon as you, like, go, <coughs> yeah, snap up. You yeah. can hear that final gunshot sound as you go. <laughs> 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 they make the gun just for you. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just saying my eyes are only watering because I'm half choking. <laughs> That's oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, not getting emotional about your sister. No I mean, <laughs> and then last question. When do you feel the most attractive? <laughs> uh, always. <laughs> hey, look at you go. Uh, Glad one of us has confidence in the room. <laughs> uh, I don't, but I like to pretend I do. Okay, fair. Mm. Go to Dakota. Here is Sorry. Yeah, what was that? No, it's okay. He's wearing. He's watching Netflix. Um, oh, he's um, wearing. He's, Netflix. he's wearing. <laughs> he's testing. You know the, the download ratio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it, well, a lot of the time when I like experiment with clothes, I kind of get shut down. But any, like, I think. Uh, no, I'm joking. Don't move on. How do no, no, okay. Probably when I feel most attractive is when like. So, it's when, mm, well, for one, I don't have my period, and mm. you know, you don't emotion, even get me started. And your emotions are somewhat <laughs> together. Yeah. Um, I guess it's like maybe an hour after the shower, and I have like this really nice like hair volume to it, and like curls mm. and stuff, and then like I feel like I feel skinny, and like I'm not skinny, but like curvy you and feel like good about confident. Your body. Yeah, and it, it happens every now and then. And I'm like. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I can do this. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, those are probably, like, my my moments. But they happen every now and then. But, mm-hmm. yeah, that's probably when I feel most attractive. Hey, that's good. Mm. Yeah. What about you? No, you shy? Oh, right. Um, <laughs> huh. Well, to be honest, like, I do often, like, when I'm home, I usually sound a lot more confident than I actually am. That's just mainly because like I say my wrinkles go away if I have compliments yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like mother gothel but with compliments oh yeah. <laughs> but um it's mainly it's difficult because sometimes it it just happens where I'll wake up and go I look nice and then other days it's like oh my god you look disgusting <laughs> it's it's difficult because Sometimes, like Dakota slightly said, do get shut down sometimes. Mm. It'd be like that. Mm. But usually there's no harm in it. It's just joking. But, like, I'm someone who will be a bit, like, I don't mean to be rude. Mm. I just diss people a little bit. Yeah. To Sounds bad, but to make myself feel a little better. But, um. Yeah. Fair, fair. So then people think that just because I'm very sarcastic and that doesn't mean that I, like, it means that I don't have feelings. So then sometimes people will think that, oh yeah, so if I diss you, then it won't matter. And it's like, eh, it, it does matter still. And it's like, just because I'm sarcastic doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, we are talking about when yeah, you feel pretty. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, you're fine. Okay. Uh, putting on my fur coat there. Oh, okay. oh nice. Oh. I love myself furs. I'm Cruella de Vil. My God, Cruella de Vil confirmed. That unison was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like Lady Gotham. Is it Gotham? Gotham? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I want to say Gotham. Yeah, Lady <laughs> Gotham. Gotham. Like, mm. And like Cruella to, um, together, basically. Yeah. yeah. Mm, very nice. Hey, that's good. Is that a cigarette? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think for me, when I feel kind of the most attractive, there's one or two situations. One is when someone appreciates 
kind of like my mind and how it works it's that kind of like oh if you're appreciating kind of how I am mm. that sounds weird but how I am mentally not yeah. even like oh how you meant like in your mental state but just like ah oh, yes having a mature kind of like conversation I'm like oh I kind of, I, it's more like I feel good because yeah. I'm like oh they care back about me so it's like yeah, oh I feel yeah. a little bit attracted today <laughs> <laughs> um you know but like there's that and yeah just sometimes I will kind of wake up and be like, okay, I don't feel bad today. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. And that took like a long time to kind of get to. Mm. But then I have certain like key things that I'll wear that boost up my confidence. Yeah. Because like the most randomest one, I don't know why, but either it's always trap pants and then either a singlet and or like a sports like top. Yeah. Like sports bra top. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know why that combination makes me feel confident. Yeah. But I'm just like, yep. It's good though. Like when you find that one outfit where you just like live for mm-hmm. and you feel good in it too, it just changes your whole mood. Yeah. Mm. My other one, like for like outfit wise, is yeah, probably like the suits or I just feel more confident in pants essentially. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 100%. Like, in a, like I don't mind wearing a dress here and there, but mm. I just, I don't feel 100% dressed yeah. as black confident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless I'm like playing a character, but then even then the character is normally more confident than me. Yeah. So it's a stepping into their That's shoes. That's me with Omen. Yeah. <laughs> See, I like wearing suits. Definitely over dresses and stuff like that. Um, I love the whole suspender look. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when you have a um, a suit on and you have like the suspenders underneath and stuff. See, it sucks because you mm. can wear one of my aesthetics, but I can't. I don't. Mm. I don't look good in suits or that kind of thing. Mm. Like, I haven't seen you on, but I reckon you would. But mm. I'm so short that it just looks like this baggy. <laughs> ugh. You need to have like the more like tapered legs yeah. probably then instead like of like the skinny leg. leg. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't wear wide pants because they make me look <laughs> rectangle because <laughs> of my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like it's it always has to be high waisted skinny pants with me. So it kind of represents everything. Yeah, but like on my bad days I get so jealous of you for wearing stuff that I want to wear but can't. Like when you mm. walk around in a crop top, I'm like, how the hell do you do that? I can't do that. It took me a long time. I wear to overgrown wear crop sweaters. Tops. I used to hate crop tops and say I would never wear them at all. And I reckon it took me to maybe three years, no, two years ago is when I felt confident enough to wear them. Because you met a <laughs> <group number. laughs> You know, until I was 18, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it took a long time, but... It just sucks because sometimes I feel like the outfits that I want to wear don't look good on me. Mm. It's like I, like, I love how that looks, but I don't look good in it. Like, yeah. But I think that's where you need to, like, experiment and, like, try a few things. Even if it's, like, a few pieces from that style you like. (laughs) You could give it a go. Yeah. It's it's just difficult because as soon as I wear something that I feel like doesn't suit me, Mm. I just... It just destroys my confidence. Mm -hmm. And, okay, this sounds bad, but a lot of it is from the standards of mom. I'm just... I know. Yeah. yeah. Like, of certain people are just, yeah, like, like, no. sometimes I'll feel like I want to wear something and then I'll look at myself in it and I'll go, I like how this looks, but not on me. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, it happens a lot and I think it takes a while to, like, really find your style and stuff like that. Like, you can go through, like, six different styles and still not find the right one you're comfortable with. But it yeah. does take time, and you are still growing. So, yeah. You like, know. I already just found yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm almost 21. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So it's just, I'm worried that my style, until I'm 21, is still going to be leggings and straps. Yeah, but if you're comfortable in it, then that shouldn't be an issue. Dude, yeah. mine was the same. Mine was track pants and t-shirts. And then I met these guys, and they were like, yeah, you dress shit, Jada. And, like, <laughs> and I was like... Okay, maybe there's a change. <laughs> I went from like Ed Harry's and like ripped jeans to now high waisted skinny everything. She went from the two thousands to. I'm just now. saying, yeah. I hate ripped jeans with a passion. Yeah. There yeah. is no use for them. Some mm. of them looked good. <laughs> I would still wear a few of them uh, to this day. But... Like you look fine in them. I just ripped jeans. They <laughs> suck. But that's a good, mm. th- good, good thing. You know what you don't like. Mm. Yeah. It's like mum tried to put me in jeggings. Just no. Why? Just 
jeggings are pretty good. No. Just, no? Okay, yeah. fair. Leggings all the way. Just just leggings. I don't have a single pair of other pants that aren't leggings. I don't see I don't like jeans, but mm. I will wear them if I have to. Mm. But put me in trap pants and trap pants only. Yeah. And that's my comfort. Mm. See I used to be full uh, like just jeans. That was just my jeans. Um but you know, obviously my other pants which were like elastic yeah. jeans. Yeah. They were like elastic. Elastic slacks pants. maybe. I don't know, something like that. Um then I never went back. Yeah. They just did everything for me. And then now I'm like just starting to get into leggings. And then like, yeah, I want to get into trackies a bit more because they're comfortable. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it just really depends. So uh, I like, just, yeah. I can't understand people who are comfortable just lying around all day in jeans. How? I used to sleep in jeans. How? How? <laughs> what? I used to sleep, well, this wasn't on purpose, but like, I remember sleeping in jeans and I used to have like this top that had like studs on the shoulders and I slept in that. <laughs> Man, yeah. you were edgier than I, I thought. I, really I know, you were edgy to sleep in a way. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, was yeah. it one of those situations where you would like get up and then like do whatever it is and you didn't get changed because you slept in the clothes the night before? Or was it just solely like, nah, I'm just gonna sleep in them? No, I was at a party, I reckon, and I was the only one awake and I just, I don't know, I didn't really. I didn't change and I just uh, fell asleep. So. Okay. I thought you meant yeah. you did that like constantly. No, yeah, that's no. what I was thinking. No, I was no, gonna no. be like, damn, how many times you wear that stuff and shirt uh, back? Yeah, but I have slept in jeans quite a few times. So mm. and then you just wake up with like the red like yeah. lines all yeah. on you and stuff and like, oh. So you're like, I don't want that yeah. anywhere. <laughs> no. I get that from track pants half the time if the like the leg goes up and I'm like, oh that's it, good back <laughs> Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah it's definitely mm. I just, yeah, jeans are just really uncomfortable to me. Yeah, that's fair. And then don't wear them. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I know, like, people will more likely give you shit because it's like, you're not wearing jeans, you don't look professional or, like, you know, nice or whatever. Mm. But at the end of the day, you know, if you feel more comfortable in track pants, yeah. you wear them, you know? Like, yeah. I, I have a friend of mine, she's the one who lounges in jeans for fun. <laughs> she's insane. But, um, you know, she always say to me, like, oh, why do you never wear jeans when we go out? Or, like, she always felt weird that I wore trap pants. Because to her, in her head, trap pants are for in the house only. Oh, okay. So as soon as you step out, she'd have to get changed. Mm. I'm like, because I wear what's comfortable and because I'm warm. Especially in wintertime, I'm warm. Yeah. It's nice. And they're soft, too. To me, jeans are not soft. Not until, like, the recent ones I found where I'm like, okay, these are a bit soft. Yeah. All right, maybe I could wear them for... Mm -hmm. A day, and that's yeah. about it. To be honest, like I, I feel like jeans have made me feel bigger, which is really weird. Um, like I used to love them, yeah. But now every time I wear them, I feel bigger, mm. and they don't, I don't know, they don't <laughs> constrict enough. They don't like fit the waist properly. Yeah, mm. like they just don't do what I want them to. But then it's a difficult mix with leggings because leggings could literally just be a piece of felt trying to hold everything yeah, together. Yeah, that's why I like the gym ones where they're a bit more like, you know, I don't know, um, thicker material or even like the pants that I wear all the time, like my high-waisted ones, like oh. the elastics. Yeah. But they don't last long. I can't believe I went to a, like 11 not wearing high-waisted. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's fine. Mm. High waist is good though. Yeah, I could never good. understand low waist. No. Not not ever. Ever. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, it, just, it doesn't it's, make sense. It's <laughs> so uncomfortable. Like, you know, if you can bend over and half your underwear is out, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. I never understood those. They're just some of them. Fashion mm. is just weird in general to me. I don't understand it. It really, really, really is. Yeah. 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 I like the simple button up shirts and pants. Mm. It sucks because, like, there's a specific style that I really like, but I realise that it's kind of e-girl aesthetic. <laughs> Is it, like, the steampunk type of...? Uh, kind of, but it's more goth. Like, it's... I'm not saying gothic, but it's, like... Is it Lolita? Yeah. yeah. I really like Lolita stuff. So. that's fine. Yeah. Which, like, you can... Like, I love seeing... Like, I really want to try out stockings. Like, they're number one on my list. Like... I like the stockings with like patterns on them. And oh stuff. yeah. Like, if I had those, then I would wear shorts all the time. Yeah. Do it. Hmm. That's what one of my friends did. She loved it. She'd wear like stockings with normally like denim shorts, and then like depending where we were going, so like a top, or it would be like 
single up with like a jacket, yeah. normally a yeah. trench coat. But um, yeah. and she'd have either like boots on. Now she does the exact same thing, <laughs> but she just had like boots with heels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see any difference? See, I want boots without heels. <laughs> yeah, so mm. you can do that. That's oh. I would love to have boots. Don't wear heels. You're too young. <laughs> don't yeah, I don't want heels. heels. They look just like pain. They're fun for a minute, and then as soon as the minute's over, you're like, and my ankles hurt. Yeah, and they, my feet hurt. they hurt. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why they have to hurt. What's the point? I don't know. And it's torture. It is. Considering they were made for men first, why do we have to? Like a lot of yeah. things we wear were for men first, which is very mm. bizarre. Because mm. now we're like, no, only women can wear it. It's like, mm. question though, how do you feel about men wearing crop tops? I love it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's so good. Why not? It's it's good to see the diversity in it. You mm. know, because yeah. before it used to be girls wear crop tops, boys wear singlets, and yeah. now it's like switching around. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I think it's awesome. Like, yeah. That's like the whole debate. Represent. Of, like, yeah, that's like the whole debate of like, you know, what's your opinion on femboys and this and that. I'm uh, like, yeah. I got an opinion on femboys, so I'll tell you that one. <laughs> to me, I'm like, why can't you just be what you want to be? Yeah. You know, if you're confident in wearing makeup and, you know, oversized t shirt and yeah. stilettos, you wear that. Yeah. You know, if you want to be a femboy, if you want to be a masculine girl, then do it. There's yeah. There shouldn't be any barriers. Like, don't let your shoulders be in the way of your dreams. <laughs> Thanks, Shai. <laughs> Personal quote, Dakota. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. Like, you know, why should it matter at the end of the day? Mm. Yeah. If you're wearing it and you feel great, kill. Yeah. yeah, do it. That's how it should be. Yes. yes. Well, thank you both so much for joining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. That was thank fun. Thank you. But yeah, it was just fun kind of chatting about random things. I love going on yeah. tangents as well. <laughs> Yeah, we do that a lot. Hey, that's good though. Mm. Just all of a sudden being like, what was the question we asked five hours ago? I know, I love it. It was like, you know, someone makes you feel happy. Now jeans, listen yeah. up. <laughs> oh yeah. Why? Why were they yeah. invented? Was, like, was that the original question? Um, <laughs> I don't know. What was it? Give Wasn't it, um, I, I really don't know. It was something along those lines. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's fine. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> That's alright. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Mm. That's fine. Right. <laughs> oh, is a recycling bin? I didn't know that. Mm. It was, when do you feel most attractive? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we got a tangent. Uh, makes drop. sense. Okay. You gotcha. know, we went from that to jeans. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. I'll be in. Cool. Thank you for both. Um, yeah. I was like joining in. Did you to do? Did you to do? Did you to do? I'm a sim now. Hi. <laughs> But yes, um, we'll see you guys, we'll hear you guys in the next podcast. Bye! Yeah, see ya. Bye! Bye.